welcome back to New Street Kids video series. Today we are thinking about how we can be good listeners and why is it important to be a good listener. I'm Charlotte and I am so excited to play a game. Would you like to play with me? Great. So today's game is all about listening. There's going to be five different sounds and you just have to guess what's making the sound. Do you think you can do it? Let's have a go. Whoa, some of those sounds were so hard. How many do you think you knew? Well, we'll find out at the end of the video. But today's story is also about someone who listened really hard. Shall we see who it was? Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi! Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. But one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel. Huh? And again, Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel and Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, 
your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God, and he listened when God spoke to him. Wow, that story is a great example of someone who had to listen really carefully, isn't it? Shall we see what Zeb thinks about it? I was listening to my music. What are we thinking about this week? We're thinking about being a good listener. Oh, that's really interesting. But I'm a great listener, so why do we have to think about that? Um, are you really, Charlotte? All the time? Um, I think so. I listen to my music, I listen to the telly, I listen to YouTube. What else should I be listening to? Well, I think maybe you should listen to other people in your life. Well, I listen to you. Well, other than me, um, like maybe your mom or dad or friends. Oh, that's a good point. I don't always listen to my mum or my friends or even my dad because they are a bit boring, my mum and dad. They tell me to do things like clean the, my room or clean my teeth or have a bath and it's just all a little bit boring. I just want to play games and watch videos. Yeah, but when we listen to people, we learn new things and we can make that fun. <laughs> yes, Eb, I suppose you're right. And it's important to be learning new things, isn't it? Yeah, just like in the story time video when Samuel learned from God how to be a good prophet. God used Samuel to tell everybody in his town and even further that God was good and all of the things that God could do for them. Yeah, I guess you're right, Zeb. So when we're a good listener, we learn new things, but we also become better people. Exactly, Charlotte. So it's not only important to listen to your mom and your dad, and your friends, and even to YouTube, and music, it's also important to listen to God. Okay, so how can we listen to God? That seems a little bit difficult, because God isn't stood in front of me to talk to, is he? He's not stood in front of you, Charlotte, but he is with you. He's everywhere. So you could talk to him now, or you could pray, or you could sing worship songs to talk to him. He even spoke to Samuel in a dream. That's true. He did speak to Samuel in a dream. So God can talk to us in any way, and we need to be good listeners to be able to hear him. Is that right, Zeb? That is exactly right, Charlotte. We all need to be good listeners to be listening to God and the important people in our lives. Oh, thank you, Zeb. That's so good. Shall we listen to some songs now? Hmm, I'm in the mood to do some dancing. What about you, Zeb? Oh yeah, let's do some dancing. Brilliant, so let's dance.
finish with a prayer. Dear Father, we thank you that you talk to us and we pray that you can make us good listeners to your voice and the voices of those who are important in our lives. Amen. Now, let's see how you did on Guess the Sound.